All right, now let's talk about turnkey companies. Now, I have definitely never been a fan of turnkey companies. I, when I first started investing, I was like, oh my goodness, this looks great. In fact, every single one of my students, they, I wanna say every, just about all of them, ask about turnkey companies. And if turnkey properties are the right way to go or turnkey companies that sell you a property that they already have, already rented out. Basically what it comes down with a turnkey company, what they do is they basically start a business that buys houses buys houses, fix them up, get a property manager, get a tenant in there, get it renting, and then sells you the property. Now, there are some good and bad turnkey companies, but what we're, as investors, what we do is we do everything that those turnkey companies do. In fact, we even probably do it better because it's our business, it's our money. We're looking out for everything for us rather than just trying to resell it. So what the reason why turnkey companies are they do this is because they make money when they sell it to you. They make a lot of money when they sell it to you because they buy it really, really low. That's what we do as investors. Then they fix it up and then they charge you premium for it and then they get a tenant in there. It's just another way to sell a house. So a way to flip a house is you flip it to a homeowner. This is basically flipping to an investor, an investor that would have a property manager and a tenant in there. So now the biggest things is you're gonna be losing a lot of money or leaving money on the table. The turnkey company is gonna be pocketing all of that equity. So remember, we make money six different ways when we buy real estate and they're gonna make money on these in, in these ways that you're not gonna be able to capture. So equity capture, when you buy the property for lower than it's worth, you capture that equity while well, they're getting that. Also, forced appreciation, as they fix up the property, the value goes up, they're capturing that as well. Market appreciation, as long as it's on the market, they're gonna get that market appreciation as well. So what's gonna happen is you're leaving so much money on the table, but those are just leaving the money on the table that wouldn't be, um, that's not the only bad thing. You don't know the property managers. You haven't built the business first. You might not even know if it's a good area to invest in. They might, uh, I know of one turnkey company, uh, Morris Invest. So allegedly they've done some bad things where they've even sold like a slab, said it was a house, sent pictures of a house, allegedly had a slab and sold to a turnkey investor, bought the property. It was literally a slab, no house there, but they sent pictures as it were a house not just the pictures, but they were even saying the tenants are doing this, they're doing that, and here's your rent. And then eventually, once it was all said and done, they stopped getting rent, it was a bad story. So, allegedly all that happened. I personally know, because we're investors, what we do is we build the business first. We capture equity, we get the forced appreciation, we build the business so we know our property managers are gonna be doing what we want, they're the right people, we also make sure they hire the right contractors or we hire also the handyman contractors. We also do all that work. We make all that money. And the great thing is we then find the right tenant on top of that. The property managers vet the tenants, everything from beginning to end. It's really, really not that hard. Now, if you are a millionaire or a billionaire, or like, I don't know if you want very few billionaires, but if you have a lot of money, you don't wanna waste any of your time to actually invest in building the business and do all that stuff. You just wanna hire a turnkey company just to buy a property, then maybe it might be okay. But us as investors, we don't leave any money on the table. We do all this ourselves. And it's so easy to actually do this ourselves from finding the properties. And obviously in the Ultimate Real Estate Investing System, I literally walk you through exactly how to do that. So you want to make sure you go through every single thing in the Ultimate Real Estate Investing System. That's why this is the advanced course. This is giving you the overview. This is giving the step-by-steps. This is helping you grow. There's so much in the basics that you need to learn. So go back and learn that as well. But there are some good companies that aren't necessarily turnkey, but they help you like their turnkey. Roofstock is a great company you definitely have to do your homework. You have to do your homework on every single property, even though Roofstock is terrific. They give you all the numbers. They even do so much work on um, inspecting and giving you numbers on how much it's gonna repair and all that sort of stuff. Might even have a property manager vetted for you. Even though they're that good, you need to do all your own homework. So I personally have had many students buy through Roofstock. I don't because I build my own business, but here's one tip that I wanna give you. If you're going through Roofstock, or as you're going through Roofstock, or even a, a turnkey company, what you wanna do is you actually wanna utilize their areas that they are investing. So let's go to any turnkey company. Let's say they're investing in Memphis or Oklahoma or wherever it might be, but they, hey, we have these properties here. Use that as a key. It's like maybe the, this city in this state might be a good place, but they have properties here 
and they have other properties here. These might be renting for a little bit more. It, it, it helps you to understand the market and give you some insights into how other investors are actually doing it. So that's why I like Roofstock. I like looking at turnkey companies, see where they're invested. It's a huge tip. You can even get a list of their property managers and say, what property managers are you using in this area? Literally call them up, but don't use them because you're just gonna be leaving so much money on the table. They're gonna give you a lot of insights because they've already done a little bit of work it's gonna get you that big of a leg up. And I love using them to see what areas of the country are getting good returns because they'll also try to tell you what type of returns you're gonna get. And my opinion, turnkey companies, I would say always, but um, I don't wanna get in trouble. 99% of the time, it seems like they inflate the numbers. They inflate it so it seems higher, like you're gonna rent it for more, your expenses are less and all that sort of stuff. We do our own business, our own, uh, we build our own business. We run our own numbers, we do everything the right way so we know we're gonna get a great property. So don't use turnkey companies, use Roofstock, that's a great one. Also, I have my property search portal that is also running everything as well, masterpassiveincome.com forward slash property search. Actually, it'll be in the description right below this. Use that as well. These, and again, these are tools. These are just tools for you to do your own homework so, to make sure that you're gonna get, be getting a good property. So use turnkey companies to figure out where they're investing and then utilize Roofstock, utilize the Master Passive Income Property Search, utilize all these to find good areas, but build the business first. So you guys are awesome. I'll see you in the next one.